Thank you, the host. Okay, so uh, Ravara, session recording start. must have started. Yes, it has started. Ravara, you may start. start.
Okay. <laughs> I think her video is frozen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Pravara, thank you very much. I'm clapping for you from here. I think due to a little technical glitches, I think the slightly the rest of it did affect it, but then that's the most we can do right now, isn't it? <laughs> Sure that whatever, uh, let us just ignore the uh, technical issues that were there in between while explaining the father. Otherwise, uh, uh, Pravara's Vatsila Bhavana, I think, reached every country. And Abhinay Dachana, younger age, always is more challenging. The more experience as a dancer is a during her journey. Everybody, please Hello. take your mind cast off now. Thank you. The more experiences a dancer is enriched with during her journey of life, the quality of Abhinay attains more and more depth. And in reference to that, I'm sure you all will agree with me that Pravara etched out a beautiful depiction of the Abhinay. Now, our next dancer, Ahana, will present yet another Krishna Pada. Which she will introduce for it. I request Ahana to take it from here. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to perform a Naika Padam, Yahi Madhava, Yahi Keshava, about Radha and Krishna. It was a lovely day with the bright full moon, and Radha was eagerly waiting for Krishna. But Krishna failed to show on time for Radha. This Abhinay is mainly based on Khandita Naika, where a Naika negates her Nayak and is enraged with him. Yahi Madhava, Yahi Keshava. Oh Krishna, oh Madhava, I don't want to speak with you right now. Tamanusara, Sarasi, Bruhalotana. Go to your beloved, your Lord, like a, just like a deceiver. Rajanita Nita Guru Jagara Raga Kashaita Alasa Nibesham. You were with your gopi all night and now you are not able to stand properly even. At the end of the Padam, Radha becomes desperate and wants, makes, wants to make Krishna understand that they are not separated but they are one. Let us see, will Radha forgive Krishna for his mistakes? Yeah. <laughs> 
God save men when a woman takes the form of a Khandita Naik, isn't it? <laughs> and here the God himself was challenged by a Khandita Radha. A woman is caring, loving and nurturing as long as she is valued and doesn't feel betrayed. We all saw how Ahana beautifully presented Radha in the Khandita form negating Lord Krishna. We will now move to the next performer. Disha will present the concluding Rachana of today's series with a vibrant, rhythmic tilana. By the time a dancer reaches a stage of presenting a tilana, she attains a stage of mastery over the posture, with the rhythmic patterns, and an overall persona of a dance performer. I'll now hand over to Disha to introduce her Rachana Disha, over to you. Thank you, Dai. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to end today's program with Tilana, which is a rhythmic piece in Carnatic music. Tilana is a rhythmic composition where dancers explore music and create dance patterns. It's a nritra rachna. Nritra means pure dance, a presentation of rhythm through graceful movements of the body. This presentation of dance does not stress on facial expressions, that is, abhinay. Footwork is given prominence in this. The word tillana indicates a very special and typical dance, which may consist of a pallavi, anu pallavi, sahitya, and a chitta swar. The sahitya is based on a deity, whereas the chitta swar divides the tillana into two halves. Tillana is one of the most vital compositions of the Margam Bharatnatyam. It needs exceptional practice in terms of timing, rhythm, and synchronization in order to radiate the performance. The Tilana which I'll be performing is Hindoram Tilana, where the Sahitya is based upon Lord Vishnu. I hope you enjoy the beats and rhythm and music of this unique composition with me and be enchanted by the essence of this Rachna.
I'm very happy with everybody's performances today as a teacher with Ravara, Hana, and Disha. All three of you, big pat on your back. Uh, we come to the end of today's Udan series of performances. I hope you all have enjoyed. I know there was a, there were a couple of technical glitches in between, but we all will have to ignore those. And um, I hope it was an enriching uh, Sunday afternoon for all of you. 
I'll see you again next Sunday, that is 16th of May at 11.30 with three other new dancers. Thank you very much. Everyone can leave the meeting. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day.